Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2019 SEMA show and I came across a 1970 Chevelle I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around and we'll take a quick look at it. I'm a fan. At first, it kind of reminds me of one of the uh, Hearst cars. And I don't ever say that name right, so. The family, you know, Hertz rental car. The Hertz rental car people used to uh, have these black and gold, well, they were Mustangs, I believe. Now it seems like they might even be doing a Camaro version. Nevertheless, that's what the car reminded me of. But that's not that's that's not what it should remind me of. That's not what it was designed to remind me of. It's actually a pro football player's car, Jared Cook of the uh, New Orleans Saints. So there is why the color is black and gold. But I like the way they did it. I think it's very cool. I like the uh, flat and, and you know divider in there with the gold. And I mean, it's a color scheme that you know back in the day. It was everybody wanted that color scheme, that black and gold, but it's kind of, kind of went away, and it's cool to see it come back. And this car is done to a very high level. He wanted a car he could drive cross country, but he had a hot rod and looked cool. Voila, Ryan Fuller paid it off, pulled it off nicely, I believe. And the '87 on the Fender, I believe that's his pro football number. But yeah, no, I dig the car. I think that the stance is nailed. Wheels choice is always personal, but I'm good with the wheels that are on it. Interior, dual gate shifter, I dig that. It's still all 1970s Chevelle in there, but a little bit of pro touring. And then I like how they use the piping, the gold piping too. Um, I think that works well. And you have to be careful, you know, because it could have went, you know, gaudy. And, um, if you let it but i think it was very tastefully done it was you know the right textures and right colors were used in the right places in my personal opinion for what that's worth paint you know black paint that's a mile deep and then that flat i tell you all the time how hard that flat is to lay on there and then they laid two polished colors you know up against it a lot of work a lot of work and a little bit of luck is what I'm guessing. But I think it turned out beautiful. I love the collar inducted hood. I like the striping pattern. Yeah, there's nothing I don't like about it. I wouldn't change a thing except for its location. It's got uh, 19 by 8s on the front. And then it's run in 20 by 11s on the rear. I like their forge line wheels. I mean, it's still very user-friendly in there. You know, I mean, the client asked for a car that he could drive cross-country, and I could see driving this. I wouldn't want to get the stone chips on it. <laughs> All right, but if from a comfort and a reliability standpoint, I could see driving this across the United States. But because of them stone chips, I don't know about driving it across the state. You chip that flat, and you're... I mean, you're done. The whole thing, that whole panel is going to have to be repainted. A little easy reading for you. Some more information than just what I had on the vehicle. But, um, you know, very cool. 1970 Chevelle from SEMA. I thought y'all would want to see that. And I'm not familiar with pro football. I don't follow it much anymore. But um, it's cool to see somebody get one of them big contracts and spend the money on a hot rod. So there you go from a 2019 SEMA show, a 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle, Jared Cook Chevelle. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.